Take a look at this, the motorized scooter fad. Yeah, here it is. It was short-lived after a lot of complaints and even some injuries. Now the City County Council is taking action, looking to enact an ordinance to regulate their use. Mary Mills takes a look at some of the concerns and what is next in this process. Mary? The scooters made their surprise Indianapolis debut in mid-June, getting rave reviews from those who hopped on board and took them for a ride. Oh, it's awesome. I love it. It's a great time. I don't have a car, so I guess we need to get somewhere quick, yeah. But they're really fun. But several people also called the Mayor's Action Center to complain. We asked for and received audio copies of those calls. Some were upset about where the scooters were being used. Uh, I'm just wondering, can you do anything about these motorized scooters on the Monon Trail in Broad Ripple? Yesterday was a nightmare. <laughs> They're not supposed to be there, but this weekend I saw them all over the place, on the sidewalks, in the street, you know, weaving in and out. They are not being used in the proper way. They're on the sidewalks with people not wearing helmets. Others called to complain about where the scooters were being left. Yeah, I don't care for these new scooters. People leave them in the oddest areas that are going to start creating some issues. They just park them and leave them on the sidewalk. They're annoying right in the middle of the path of people walking. These things are not supposed to be on a sidewalk, let alone next to a doorway. One woman said her biggest concern, safety. Someone almost ran me down. And they were riding those things around violently, not caring that people were just walking around. And I'm going to tell you, if someone hits me, I will sue the city or whoever it is that's doing this. Some strong feelings there. So tonight, the council is expected to adopt new rules for scooters, where they can be used and parked. It also sets the minimum age for renting one at 18, and it requires companies to pay 15000 bucks a year for a license and a dollar per day for a scooter, which some companies think is too high. John. All right. Thank you. A lot of strong opinions on that. Thank you, Mary. Well,